Hi everybody, welcome back to Friday Night Sports. Going to take a look at the games of next week. Uh, you guys have a big one in District 8, 5A. You want to know Central Lafourche 0 and 1. They're going to probably come in there steaming mad and want to pick up a win. A little bit about that game. Yeah, I think y'all change tape tomorrow morning. Y'all don't, yeah. don't see anything yet. Yeah, we're going to swap tomorrow morning. It's going to be a good game. You know, competitive, fast. We both run the ball, so yeah. In yeah. Central Lafourche. In Central Lafourche. So they see another wing T team. As I remember Travis Travis Douglas saying that last week, y'all will be the third wing T team. And although their offense is, you know with the double slot, it's there's a lot of similarities. Oh, yeah, a lot, a lot of, of similarities. Uh, also next week, Thibodeau will be at South Terrebonne, so those two teams picking up wins tonight, that's going to be a big game. Hopefully South Terrebonne's field dries out a little bit and there's a little bit better turf out there. South Lafourche is going to be in their first district action against Terrebonne at Terrebonne, and Ellender in a non-district game is going to be traveling out to Napoleonville to take on Assumption. In District 8, 4A, Hornville going to come into town to take on Vanderbilt. That's been a while since I've known Hornville and Vanderbilt to hook up, and once again, we're going to reiterate this. Early in the show, we mentioned a situation where the rumor going around that Vanderbilt uh, may have to forfeit some games early on. They will have their day on Wednesday. They're going to meet with the LHSAA, and we're going to hear the whole side. So let's pass judgment after everything happens, and we're going to find out exactly what the situation is. And certainly when we know, we'll pass it on to you. Uh, Ellender, again, we said was going to be at Assumption. Lutch is going to be at Destrahan. Mm. Lutch don't shy away from the big dogs. And Jackson is going to be in Morgan City. So that ought to be interesting. Bruley going to be at E.D. White as they have not started their district slates yet. Como is going to be at Patterson. Man, Como is going to move in our area. So yeah. terrible in Patterson. And if I'm not mistaken, they take on Central Lafourche later in the year. Hanson Memorial is going to be at Berwick, so those two teams are right near each other. And finally, in single A, Central Catholic is going to be at Ascension Catholic. Joe, you're a good football player over at Nickel State. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, the Colonel's going to take on Jacksonville State, and the quarterback Ryan Perilou is coming back in town. But uh, you're a big supporter of Nichols. Uh, been seeing any games, Nichols, this year? I hadn't got a chance to see one yet, but I'll be there tomorrow between the homecoming festivities and everything. Heard the home side's already sold out, so. I heard that. Yeah. Uh, actually, I heard it from one of your coaches, Rondon Anderson, yeah. told me that Laplace is emptying out tomorrow, hey. that everybody from Laplace is going to be in the stands. And I said, man, Rondon, it can't be that all of these guys are going to go over there and they're going to pull for Jacksonville State. He said, no, they're going to pull for Ryan Perlow, yeah. but they're not going to pull for Jacksonville State. Oh, no, State, they just so. want to see a good Perlow show. Well, again, that's tomorrow at 3 o'clock, and you can go out to John L. Gitter Stadium and catch that. Uh, you can actually catch your LSU game at 1120 if you want to do that. Watch it on TV. I don't think you're going to be watching that. No, I'll be watching the Gators probably. <laughs> How about Ole Miss? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Joe, Joe's from Mississippi, and I know he had to have a tough night last night when Ole Miss lost to South Carolina. But uh, for you Tiger fans, tomorrow morning, 1120, they'll be on television, and then you can take off and go support the Colonel. Thank you guys for coming out. No Congratulations. Problem. Good luck next week. I just want to tell all the uh, girls and guys that's doing the homecoming thing, be careful and don't do anything crazy. Good. Very good. That's about it for us. Next week, we're going to look at week five. We're already at the half point of the football season, the regular season for football in our area. So again, next week, it'll be week five as some of the districts are really getting hot and heavy at this time. We hope that you can be here again Friday night. Take care, everybody. Have a great week.